The MAPCON barcode module can be an essential tool for operations that must have accurate, up-to-date information for inventory management, tracking, and reporting purposes. It can also be used as part of a company's accounting, purchasing, and operations. In this tutorial, MAPCON team member Ethan Gunnels will give an overview of the barcode printer, including how to properly set the printer up and how to load the printer. Barcode functionality is available on both light and pro versions of MAPCON. Greetings everyone, my name is Ethan Gunnels and today we're going to be discussing the WASP WPL 406 barcode printer. Uh, this unit, as you can see on the table right beside me, is a strong metal frame, durable industrial strength barcode printer intended to live out in your inventory warehouse or your shop. Uh, you don't have to worry about the general wear and tear and dust of whatever environment you might be in. It's going to be able to handle it and keep on printing. Uh, easy to use touch interface on the front and comes preloaded with whatever you might need network wise to get it hooked up to your computer. Uh, we have Ethernet, serial, USB, all that comes standard in the device whenever you order it. Also, whenever you pull it out of the box, you're going to see a few other items in there. You'll have a USB cable that we provide so that there's a direct connection to your PC as a starter. If you wanted to use the uh, Ethernet, that would be a cable that you'd have to provide on your own. The PC power cable, just to get it plugged into the wall, get it powered up, get it printing. And then you'll also get some default labels to start with. Uh, by standard out of the box, we'll give you a 4x3 label, a rather large label, good for helping you identify and test different uh, barcode label designs that you might be printing. So you can see those and kind of figure out what looks best and what you might need inside your shop. And then you also have the thermal transfer ribbon. Uh, we'll talk about that more in a minute. That's an extra ribbon that goes between the printer and the labels. It's going to help us out and keep the printer working a little bit longer. So with that said, let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you the insides and how we get it set up, how we get it rolling, and then you can get to printing barcode labels yourself. All right, so now we've got the WASP printer open here. We get a chance to see inside and look at uh, how some of the pieces interact and how we're gonna get this all set up to print barcodes for you. Three pieces we're gonna need throughout this process. If we're doing the standard setup where we're using a thermal transfer ribbon and the barcode labels, we're gonna need the ribbon, the barcode labels, and then the box itself with the printer should come with these little yellow disc. These actually go inside the device to hold your barcode labels in place. What you'll see is back here at the back of the printer, there's a rod that will hold the barcode labels. You want to pull this yellow piece out to the end and it will twist forward. And then at that point you can take your yellow disc and these will actually slide over that and slip right into place those sort of act as an adjustable way of holding your barcode labels here on the back of the printer. Once you have those in place, you can pick up your barcode ribbons. You want to make sure that they're coming off the top. They roll off the top here, heading down towards the front. Pick that up. Just set that over top of that. And once that's sitting in place, you push this little yellow bar back up. Push it in until it's holding those ribbons securely in place against the back of the machine. Now we're set. At the front of the barcode printer, we have the print head here. In order to feed the labels through, we need to open it up. There's a yellow lever right here that says push on it. All you gotta do, push back. It'll pop open. And once it does, you can begin to feed the labels. The labels go all the way underneath this roller pin here. But we go under that, and then there are a few pieces of yellow plastic here that hold it all in place inside the print head. We got a main yellow bar here with a notch on it. That bar is actually where the print sensor is. It tells it whenever it's looking at a label versus when it's looking at the back of the ribbon. So it knows whenever it needs to stop printing the barcode because it's onto the next one. And then there's another yellow piece here that once you've went underneath that, you got the labels inside that yellow notched area there. Push this other little yellow piece over so that it holds the labels in place and they can't scoot off to the side. So once you got it all set up, you should be able to just tug softly and the ribbons will just feed through normally. Before we close the print head, we do have the thermal transfer ribbon as well. The thermal transfer ribbon, unlike the barcodes, will feed downward, and it normally goes to an uptake roll on the other side. This has been used a little bit. You can see it's a little rough. Normally, this would just be straight cardboard at the start. 
but this thermal transfer ribbon here, you're gonna take this, you put it on the far right spindle at the top here, just push it in until it's all the way in, and then you kind of feed this black material under the metal bar here in the middle, not the full bottom roller. Once again, you can refer to the guide at the top of your printer if you need a little reference. But it goes under that metal bar. And then you stay outside the yellow plastic that we just used on the barcodes. It doesn't go underneath that print head. Instead, it just goes up and under. And then you set this uptake ribbon on this spindle up here. Pull it a little bit. Make sure that it's feeding. If you twist, it all, it's all good. You want to try and make sure that as much of this thermal transfer ribbon as possible covers the barcode labels. Any, any bit of label that's exposed there that doesn't have the thermal transfer ribbon over it isn't going to print. So you want to make sure you have that as fully covered as possible. Once you got that secured, pull the print head down, relatch this yellow plastic notch here, and then it should be good to go. And if we press feed, you can test it and see it printed a single label out. You can do it again. It should automatically adjust and you'll have your printer set up and ready to go. So that's how you set up your WASP barcode printer. For these tips and more, check out MapCon Technologies on social media. Thank you for choosing MapCon.